Bruce St. James and Pamela Hughes. All right. Well, um, we wanted to talk to uh, some people directly impacted and, and, and really some of the, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's uh, hyperbolic to say some of the trailblazers when it came to this decision in front of the Supreme Court today. Joining us right now in the KTIR Newsmaker line is Terry Pochard. And Terry was the lead plaintiff in the first same-sex marriage lawsuit here in the state of Arizona. Terry, good morning to you. Hey, good morning. How are you doing? Well, I, I'm doing good, but I'm guessing you're, uh, you're on cloud nine today. We certainly are. My partner, Joe, and myself, we were watching television this morning, just doing our normal Friday morning deal, and whoa, all of a sudden, kabam. <laughs> it was kind of an amazing day. But, you know, at the same time, and I don't want to interject here, it's kind of a sad day, too, because we have a long way to go with uh, equality here in the United States. We lived in Charleston for a few months during a government contract, and here we're a funeral is going on at the same time we celebrate. So we've got a, a long road to handle or to go ahead in the future. But for us today, we're thrilled. Okay, we'll talk about some of those obstacles, Terry. What are some of the obstacles? What are still some of the fights that need to yeah. be fought uh, in, in the wake of the Supreme Court ruling today? Well, um, there's two of them primarily, equal rights in the workplace. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to make sure that people cannot be fired or hurt um, because of their sexuality in the workplace. The second point is in uh, some of the laws here in Arizona, we still have uh, issues regarding adoption yeah. and kind of a priority list of who can adopt first. And, you know, a gay couple is kind of down further in the list. And we still respect uh, our governor taking steps, um, you know, to help protect children uh, I'm not sure where he stands necessarily on marriage equality, but he certainly did us a favor to look out for children. And I think that's a huge thing that's going to be um, in front of us for uh, same-sex couples and their children. Yeah. Okay. So that's something that we'd really like to look forward to. Yeah, we're speaking with Terry Poacher. Uh, Terry, again, the lead plaintiff, uh, along with his partner Joe, in the first same-sex marriage lawsuit in Arizona, joining us right now. I, I, we touch on some of those adoption issues, and it, and it seems that even in this opinion, um, um, one of the plaintiffs in this case, uh, and it was a, an amalgamation, they put a bunch of them together, were same-sex couples who had adopted cross state lines and their uh, parenthood, if you will, wasn't being recognized properly. So it appears that at least from that standpoint, it is going to change in a positive light. But I think if nothing else, and Terry, I think you'd agree with this, this ruling at least gives a pretty good legal uh, uh, framework for... Uh, same-sex couples to go into courts in these individual states and go after some of these um, uh, uh, local laws. Exactly. And, I, and so the fight here in Arizona that, you know, we won last year, October 17th, is kind of our celebration day here yeah. in Arizona. But you're absolutely right. Um, going forward, uh, we call it kind of the road to equality a little bit. It's, it's a path, and this is even though there's going to be lots of celebrations today, we still need to slowly take these footsteps forward to um, make sure that there is equality for all, like you mentioned earlier in your show about the interracial marriage. Yeah. And, 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 you know, even having a Bible study in a church, we shouldn't be, uh, that should be uh, respected. And it's really a part of this equality issue as well. So, uh, like I said, I don't want to keep bringing that up, but it's a happy day and a sad day for a lot of people. If you're just joining us right now on the KTAR Newsmaker Line, we're speaking with Terry Pochert. He was the lead plaintiff in the first same-sex marriage suit in Arizona that was decided upon last October, uh, making gay marriage legal here in the state of Arizona. So we already had it legal here, Terry. Uh, I know that the Supreme Court ruling today impacted, I, I think, what, 13, 14 different yeah. states? Um, but just for a second, talk to us about the magnitude of today uh, for for the gay community and, and for America. What what does it truly mean? Because it seems just like a monumental milestone in our nation's history. Well, yes, this is mon uh, this is a huge issue. Both Joe and I um, are still kind of fighting a little bit different path as well. Both of us are people of faith. 
And um, there's still this issue that our churches and synagogues and mosques need to have their doors open and welcome same-sex couples to be able to worship um, openly and in a, in a friendly, safe environment. Churches are not, uh, not called sanctuary for, for any yeah. reason. They need to be safe places. So I'm hoping that this simply takes a same-sex couple and makes them a part of the community. Well, the children can play together. The they can worship together in churches. Um, now, now, Terry, I, can I can I can I get back? You're not you're not uh, um, um, trying to force churches necessarily to accept uh, uh, gay couples or same sex marriage because as, as I understand it, Terry, there are plenty of churches out there that welcome you and your partner with open arms. Exactly, and and churches, uh, there's always been separation. Uh, you know, between uh, our church and state, and we're not trying to tackle that whatsoever. Yeah. Um, um, but it's for us, Joe and I, we just feel good in our church when we can walk in and we can sit together and we can take communion together. That's a big part yes, of a relationship. Um, for us, uh, that was a big deal. Uh, so even though this is a lot of civil type um uh, celebration. It's also a celebration for us on that side as well. Yeah. Uh, Terry, thank you so much for spending time with us this morning. Uh, congratulations to you and Joe. Uh, uh, just further, further moving the ball down the field, so to speak, on this issue. Terry Pochert, the lead plaintiff in that same sex marriage lawsuit in Arizona. Really, the, the person that brought the lawsuit that changed the law here in the state of Arizona. Now, the Supreme Court affirming that, for lack of better terms, agreeing with the district courts agreeing with the appellate courts and saying you know what this is now the law of the land interesting